what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is asa studio here we are in photoshop and i have an awesome tutorial for you guys we'll be looking at how to edit your beautiful portrait all right so these are step i take when editing my beautiful portrait and i don't want to have so many you know talk with you guys but i just want you to know that before you start addicting you need to have a goal or a aim of what you want to do so all right so in this photo i already know what i want to do i want to do some frequency separation i want to do some color correction color balance and also some color grading so this will make me not make my retouching very long or start thinking what next to do all right so some couple of steps I'm going to take or method I'm going to take is already in the channel so you don't have to go about thinking oh what did I do it's already in the channel so let's get started first of all I will notice that I need to blend the skin tones of the image I know that the neck part is actually yellow and there are some reds in her face I have a video or a tutorial on that where you can actually detect variation in color and how to correct them so quickly we are going to correct this one is it that you make the red look like the yellows or you make the yellows look like the red but in this case I want to make the red look like the yellow so I'm going to go down here and click on adjustment layer and I will click on hue and saturation on the hue and saturation I noticed that on the picture instead I noticed that there's so much red and I want to make it look like this I want to desaturate the red so let's go back and go to the master go to the red and desaturate it and you can see that just little changes it's actually affecting the photo the image all right so if you take it down the more you can see how it is so I'm going to take it by 20 so just to make the photo real so 20 is actually okay I'm gonna close that you can also increase the lightness to make it look like this but in this case I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and you can see the difference between now and this so the, it's actually looking like that of the neck you can also go back and go to the yellows but this is going to affect the neck if I actually go to the yellows and increase the saturation of the yellows it's actually going to make this one but I'm just I think that's even more preferable so let's see the before and then the after all right so let's think actually it's actually at the photo so just you know by 10 it's actually okay so now i want to balance the lightness the lightness of this one i want the dark to be lighter just the way it is so i'm going to pick up the curves and then i'm just going to increase it somewhere around there i think it's actually okay yeah not too much and I want it to be present just in the dark areas and not the light area so let's double click and then it's going to bring up the blending mode and on the blending mode I want this layer not to be on the darker side but on the lighter side so you can see as I'm moving this around it's actually removing it from the darker part but I want it on I want this place out of the lighter side so I try to balance and get a good clean hold and alt separate this one and then blend it the more and you can check your preview turn it off and on on so i guess it's still at that side so i'm going to remove more from it and then just like this let's see the preview before and then after okay so we can if this didn't work well what after well we can actually use the second slider which is also good instead and then bring it all the way up so i guess this one worked fine for me i'm just going to reduce it blend it the more so we have this and then we have this all right so let's take it up and then bring this one back a little so not too much so let's see the before and then the after all right so i'm gonna eat okay we can actually decrease the opacity but we just want the effect to be just a little all right from here we have there so some darker parts have been brought to light this can be easy in um capture one i just you know pick a color and then i blend it in so you can see the before and after of the photo so let's just drop it to 50 percent and now we can go on with the edit so before and then after let's create a stamp visible layer control sheet of done it e or i press save for web so i'm going to cancel this control shift of done it e create a stamp visible layer and then I'm going to do some turn this one off and do some frequency separation so hit ctrl J twice and name this one color if you know how to do frequency separation you can actually skip this step so I'm going to name this one texture and then I'm going to turn it off and select the color layer go to filter blur 
Gaussian blur and you know I'm gonna actually skip that process so I'm gonna blur it a little let's say the more you blur the more the texture so I'm gonna blur it just like 9 is actually okay for me I'm gonna hit 9 and then go to the texture layer go to image apply image and this time select on the layer color and then multiply go to sub um, subtract blending subtract and then scale to offset 128 click on ok and then change it back to linear light and this i can actually group them and then open the group for the texture layer you know use the clone stamp tool for the color layer you use the mixer tool brush so let's blend the colors first before we start talking about the texture all right so i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to finish this frequency separation so if you don't know how to do a frequency separation there are so many videos online i even have the video on the channel how to perform frequency separation and there are so many action so i'm going to do that and I'm, then we're going to come back to the video all right so i'm done with the frequency separation just for the sake of the tutorial i wanted it to be you know faster so you can see the before and then the after after frequency separation all right just a few things I, I noticed is the nose the color of the nose is actually not the same you can see how it is desaturated compared to this side so let's correct that let's create a stamp visible layer and then why I'm creating a stamp visible layer is because I want to check my progress I can turn this on turn this off you know to this and then to this all right so I just want in case I want to make a correction I can go back turn this back on and then you know it's just some step all right so now add you and saturation and then this time around click on this tool and let's pick on the nose see it's kind of reddish so let's you know increase it and i want to get just only that part of yeah something like this of the nose not everything just a little part of our nose i want to bring this one back till we capture just everything all right so this looks fine to me and i figured out is the red so i'm just going to close it first of all and then let's select the brush tool and i'm going to increase the brush i want to erase it from places i don't need it so it's like somewhere like yeah all right so let's leave it let's leave somewhere okay let's just control z i want it there all right from the year and from the highs I'm just gonna leave that part of the nose so i just want it on the nose okay doesn't matter you can take your time you know and do this all right so that's okay for me i'm gonna just leave those place alone all right so now let's go back and then go back to the red and then turn this back to zero and let's zoom in okay zoom in zoom in zoom in all right, so let's correct the U of that side. You see the difference? So we're taking it, even if we take it up, it's still of no difference. So what do we need to adjust? I guess it's the saturation or the lightness. Okay, so I think it's the saturation. We need to adjust one feet. All right, so the saturation, we do the job. All right, not too saturated. Let's increase the U a little bit and boom and so that fixed that for us so we can see the before and then the after all right so since we fixed that uh i'm gonna go on you know i can actually go to the um the max tool and then i can maybe add some colors if that actually just some places you no know, you can dab on some places you feel like oh you notice those color changes I'm gonna put in this right here all right so I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna do that just not to change the color because we're gonna be doing that later but so now that we've done that let's create a stamp visible layer again and I'm gonna turn this effect on so the next thing I'm going to do I'm gonna take it to color um, sorry um, camera raw filter All right, so we're going to camera raw filter so on the camera raw filter let's go to the basic tab and i'm just going to leave that on touch i'm going to go to the highlight and increase the highlight a little decrease the shadows increase the white 
decrease the black and let's maintain let's actually maintain some you know like 10 10 10 so let's leave it like that not too much 10 let's leave the shadows at 10 yeah something like that not too far from each other so like that and then we we'll go down to texture i'm going to increase the texture just a bit and more clarity and so much all right so i don't want it to be too much just a little bit two and five okay so two four it's actually okay but if you i feel we need more texture all right let's go down we're still going to come back to this turn this down and then let's increase let's use this for contrast something like this i'm going to close that and i feel like that's okay i'm going to go to the detail and we can add some sharpening just three and that's okay all right so let's go back to the color mixer and now this is where we want to make the saturation of the red regain the saturation of the red backs so i'm just going to increase the saturation of the red to where we get the you know you can see before and then just increase it to somewhere around let's say 30 32 all right so the oranges let's you know give the oranges more saturation to bring back what we've lost i want to increase the yellows too just a little bit so we're selecting the colors we want to actually you know make the skin tone look awesome all right so on the luminance i want the yellows because i want the highlights to show more so let's increase the luminance of the yellow just to bring the highlight for things too much 10 and you can leave the oranges and the reds i'm just going to bring it down to get more contrast from the reds so something like that okay so let's close that i'm not going to change any hue but I guess we can change the hue of the reds to that of the yellows so increasing it towards the oranges and then increasing the ones oranges towards the yellows will make our skin look yellowish but let's see how about towards the green make it look reddish okay so i guess this will work fine towards the yellow makes it look natural plus seven like i said let's not go too far eleven all right, so I'm going to close that. Then I'm going to go to the last part, which is the calibration. And because she's fair skin, I'm going to increase the U, which is the primary of the U. Don't worry about how things are going. I'm going to go to the blues and then bring it back to the same color as minus 21. And then let's find the sweet spots for it with the green. Okay, so this actually makes sense with the green. So 20 plus 20 for the green. If you feel like it's actually too much, you can actually bring it back. But I feel this is actually okay for me. So I can go up back to the color mixer and then the saturation. And then I can increase the saturation of the red to get, you know, more red from the image. Just like that. Okay, so now we can do before and after. Just click on OK. I think I'm, I don't want to go back you know, trying to figure out what to do so we can see the before and then the after how well we've gone. All right. So apart from that, the last thing is going to the color balance and adding some color grading. I'm going to start with the shadows and I'm going to dial in some blues to make it look like, yeah, like that. And then some cyan. We can leave the red let's go i guess it's too much i don't like going past 10. i'm going to go to the highlight let's add in some let's see the one that works fine so blue looks like morning i want this afternoon feel so i'm going to leave it like that on the yellows we'll dial in some greens just want some color grading nice color grading if you bring it back with magenta no i don't want that i want some greens color greens in it so something like that and let's see the sweet spot for the reds okay so plus five of the red it's okay let's go to the mid tones all right so how do you want it to look should we take it to towards the morning or take it to the afternoon yeah that looks awesome okay so bringing it back or taking it forward looks like wow amazing 
so I'm going to leave it at plus 5 and let's find a sweet spot for this one so I guess afternoon few so plus 1 and I'm going to hit the close button and we can turn it off and on to see how amazing it looks so from this you can see how we actually make give it some you know depth so this is where we're going to end the photo retouching i'm going to create one more stamp visible layer and then i'm going to turn everything off to see where we come from 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 here from here to here to here and then for the final touch this place so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to share and please turn on the notification buttons to get notified whenever i post new videos if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe very important it actually helps the channel grow once again this is asas see you in our next video